Hi, I'm Robert with the Gateway Gardener Magazine. I'm here today with Kim Reese at uh, Sugar Creek Gardens. Uh, she works here and she also, uh, you might see her down at the Botanical Garden where she works in the uh, Public Programs Department. Today she's going to show us how to uh, make a nice summer container. Let's go. All right. One thing you want to, the first thing you want to do when you start thinking about potting up containers is consider your container. Are you going to want to drag them in and out of the garage or in and out of your basement over the winter? This is a terracotta pot. This isn't going to overwinter well outside. They're kind of heavy. Um, a lot of the ceramic pots, very beautiful but heavy. And there are lots of plastic and resin uh, and even foam pots that are available today that, have vi that look really good, lightweight, can take the, uh, the winter weather. So think about that. It might be worth spending a little extra time finding a pot that's more versatile for you. Pots are a great way to add color in your garden, especially in a shady spot where you're, it's hard to grow some really vibrant, uh, the poppies, for example, aren't going to do well in the shade. So a bright blue cobalt pot or maybe a bright a limey green pot will, be, will add a pop of color in a dark corner. I like to use terracotta pots because it's neutral enough that it disappears into the background and the plants are really the star of the show. Every pot has to have a hole in it. Unless you're water gardening, this is a must because you need drainage. If the, pots, if the potting soil sits in there and gets wet, it is the foulest smell you will ever come across. I don't recommend it. So make sure there's a hole. If there's not, you can get a ceramic drill bit and put the, drill the hole yourself. Um, this is a fairly deep pot, and so uh, potting soil is expensive. So maybe you don't want to fill this whole thing up with potting soil. I like to use a little filler at the bottom. Uh, my favorite is sweet gum balls, and, I'm, and I don't mean bubble gum. I had one customer once uh, confuse <laughs> the bubble gum with the sweet gum balls whenever I said that. Uh, these are free to me. My neighbor has two huge trees across the street. They're organic, so as they decompose, if the roots get tangled in them, I feel like they're um, getting some nutritional benefit. Some people will use styrofoam peanuts, crushed Coke cans, um, anything, look around your garage, there's lots of trash you could probably stuff in the, the lower half of your, of your pot. So I'll just, maybe the lower quarter, I'll fill up with these. So next let's talk about potting soil. Potting soil is the most important investment you're going to make in your container. A really good potting soil is going to pay off in the end. Your flowers will thank you for it. Um, I like a potting mix. I like a potting mix that already has a, a fertilizer, a slow re release fertilizer built in. So that saves me some money and some trips out to the pots during the summer to, to keep adding the pelleted stuff. Next, let's talk about design. Um, the traditional recipe for a pot is the thriller filler spiller, and the thriller is the tall plant. The filler is your kind of medium filling in plant, and then the spillers are the trailers. You can also just do um, a monochrome uh, display where you have just one plant and you just jam your pot full with just a single plant and you can use that as an accent in, in different groupings where you have maybe a larger pot with a showier display and then maybe around the base of it you, you pick up some colors in that display with your um, solid plant like sedums look very stunning very tactile in a container by themselves. You might also want to think about using perennials in your containers because it's a great way to save money. If you're going to invest money in your plants, the annuals you do have to discard at the end of the year. Perennials, you can enjoy them throughout the growing season and then in the fall, put them in the ground and next year enjoy them for years to come. Uh, or even dig them back up and put them in your pot again if you like. So it's a great way to save money. I'm going to say this pot's going to go in a shady corner and I'm going to use uh, hookera, this is peach flambe, as my centerpiece. And hookeras actually are fairly evergreen throughout the winter, so 
if you uh, have a four season container and you leave the peach flambe in there, chances are you'll get it to show four seasons out of the year. For my filler, I'm going to use these pansies. This is Matrix Sunshine. Uh, it, I like that the peach colors pick up the hookara, but the yellow adds a little pop of uh, sunshine. It's going to pick up any reflected light in a shady corner. So I'll pop some of these in. My philosophy when you're doing containers is go for instant gratification. Plant that pot as full as you possibly can. For my spiller, I'm going to go with this fairly new ivy. It's got a copper tone to it, which I think is really interesting. It's called Heterohelix Thorndale. And again, it may feel like you're being a little brutal cramming some of this stuff in there, but... And this is for a container that you're going to really only see from the front. So if this were on your front porch, it's not like uh, your, your guests are going to be walking around and seeing it from a 360 view. So I'm going to put all of my plants uh, from the front and just kind of fill in the back with potting soil. Another really important aspect of your annual containers is fertilizing. If you use a potting soil that has a slow release fertilizer in it, that's a good foundation fertilizer, but you'll also want to supplement that with a liquid high phosphorus fertilizer. Uh, water full strength every, say, two weeks, or cut it in half and do it, water it weekly. You're looking for a number with uh, your NPK number, your nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, that phosphorus number, uh, if it's higher than the other two, that's what's going to get you bud and bloom development. And we're asking these flowers to really bloom and work hard for us all summer, so we've got to help them out with that extra fertilizer. At the end of the day, the container is going to be your work of art, so do what makes you happy. Uh, I, my children pot up their own pots, and um, I'm usually horrified at the beginning of the season by their selection. But after they fill out, I'm always surprised by how gorgeous they look. And so if my children can do it, then I know anybody can do it.